wax and rust and goop all over my fingers. But you know, So that one actually took a little bit of force to get out. And there was some rust, some cruddy crud in there. And on the other end. And that one too took a little bit of juice to get out. A few hammers. And it looks like the washer shot on there. It's gone. Not even, it's not there. And it wasn't on the thing. It turned into rust. It evaporated. Silicone. That's what that is. Straight up silicone. You can see. It's clear. Alright, so that's easy to replace. Put this in the garbage. That, those gears look in pretty damn good shape if you ask me. Is that melted? Yep, that's silicone on the gear. Okay, so these gears will get cleaned up. I don't know if I should. I probably won't attempt to take them off the shaft, but I will certainly wash this out. You can see water got into that oil. But good shape. There's no rust on the inside really to speak of. And you can see that's that's bare metal. It's pretty good shape. If that's me melting it or what. Yeah, you can see gears on the inside here. It's not coming off. You can see there's a bigger, a bigger gear on the inside there. Okay, so I have this thing wrapped up, the chain wrapped all the way around twice, and then uh, hooked to the dolly. All right, so I got the uh, castle nut off. I think you saw that. It's all the way off. Uh, you didn't see that. Anyhow, found a socket. It's not uh, SAE, it's 32 millimeter, but it fits tightly enough. And I just barely had to use the breaker bar to knock this one loose. And I could, when I watched the video of me shaking this earlier, video is a good tool, I could see that it was this gear that was holding it down and not these two. And so, uh, take the nut off, take the gear out, and I should be able to pull this into the case off. And that came off easily. Every, like I said, everything on the inside's in really good shape. This is half of the key. It looks like crusted and rusted. I mean, that's pretty nasty. I think that was half of the key or some kind of a lock. Maybe not. Maybe it was just crud from years. Yeah, that was just crud in there of some sort. I can get this gear. It's not 
coming up easily. Let me get a little pry bar. something yeah it's it's moving I can see it moving you can probably see it better than me I'd do better if I had two pry bars and I could work it side to side because it's just it's very tightly on it there tight tolerance machining definitely moving. Let me get another pry bar. That's nice. In the oil. Everything's in the oil. Here. Ball bearings in great shape. See those? You can see those from here. They are shiny, sparkly new. Gears in great shape. I didn't do any damage to it pulling it out. These things look like they're hardened. So now I should be able to pull, let me take this Woodruff key out. Okay, well, I uh, was building a trailer dolly so I could get the trailer back in the yard before somebody stole it. But uh, it's back in the yard. I, <laughs> I didn't need the dolly quite yet. I used uh, the rope and some pulleys, wherever the pulleys are. Anyhow, leverage. So that task is over. I can go back to working on this. I've got the key way out. I got it out with an awl. And uh, I just hammered, hammered down into it and the key stock was soft enough. Soft enough. It was not hardened. And so uh, I was able to drive the awl underneath it and pry it out away without doing any real damage to the shaft. So <clears throat> knocked it over and got kitty litter in the uh, using the top of the oil got it all in there so let's see if I can pull this off now okay it's heavy I get a grip on it a proper grip so I could probably turn it over flip it over That's what that was. See this, there's, so there is spring detent. And these bearings look pretty good as well. There's a little crud, they need to be cleaned. But uh, they're tight. That's very nice. Uh, so if that's a break, I don't think so. I mean, that's where the ratchet attaches. I don't see any brake assembly. Not here. Uh, let's see if I can get the. You can see this is. All right. All right. Okay. So it is not a planetary gear. How does that even work? Okay, we've got Timken bearings. Oh, crap in them. Like some kind of Timken roller bearing here. And they're in pretty good shape. There's crud. I mean, in there. 
but overall the rollers are in good shape. They're not scored. They just need to be soaked and cleaned. Okay, and so here are, these are some kind of cam assembly. Ah, I can see how this works. Is that the, uh, like a rotary engine, it cams over and moves this, you know, one turn at a time. One tooth. Move. Uh, one tooth at a time, like this. Uh, kind of like how a rotary engine turns the uh, eccentric, the turns the drive shaft. And you can see there's, yeah, that's goopy. So this all needs to be cleaned out, but it's a part. It's in great shape. I just need to clean the crap out of it. A pressure washer would be a good thing at about this point. Um, yeah. Doesn't seem to be any serious visible wear anywhere. Everything looks like it's in good shape. I can pull this whole thing off. And these bearings sit on either side. I don't even think that they're, uh, probably doesn't matter what side they go on. No, it doesn't matter. Either but side. If I, yeah, here you go. You can see it. There's the motion. One tooth at a time, it's just rocking and rolling. Rock roll. Look at that, how they're opposing directions. That'll be interesting to watch in the video. Interesting. So, I'm uh, certain that this can support what's going on here. Is that a piece of a uh, flat gasket that chipped off here from here? Flat gasket, I think, maybe. Paper gasket is really old and brittle. Yeah, there's fibers in there. So I'll be chipping away. Gasket cleaner, chip this all away, clean the uh, crud out. This is a repeat of the uh, Seriously, this is about what the inside of the engine and that Kia looked like. It was this kind of hard, crusty crap. I mean, look. That's nasty. That's what was falling down in my engine. I had to get that stuff out of there. <clears throat> and there we go. The main, the main drive gear that runs the, uh, that runs the chain. <clears throat> and so that would... Yeah, that, that runs the, uh, the chain here on the bottom. You can see how that's, that's the final drive, final gear ratio there. Alright, lots of cleaning. Anybody got any suggestions for this other than a pressure washer to get this crud out? I mean, that's, that's really nasty. My fingers, I guess they'll do.